Good day, APS students, parents, employees, and community stakeholders. Thanks for tuning in to APS News, dedicated to keeping APS stakeholders informed. As a valued Atlanta Public School stakeholder, you deserve to get information about your school district from the source, and this is one of the channels that we will use to deliver information to you. I'm Julius Huck from the Office of Communications, and this is the news for the week of July 1st, 2013. Adrian Arteri, the 2012-13 valedictorian of Thero School of Law and Public Policy, was recently featured in a National United Negro College Fund campaign. Adrian's photo was featured in the Better Futures campaign, a national multimedia public service effort that builds on the UNCF's 41-year-old campaign to help African American students attend college. The Better Futures PSAs and Photo Collateral transform the idea of donating to a cause to a more powerful idea of investing in the future of a student. The campaign includes new television, radio, print, outdoor and digital PSAs featuring students who have personally benefited from UNCF sharing their stories of success. The Ad Council distributed the PSAs and photos of media outlets nationwide. Adrian was chosen for the opportunity the first semester of his 12th grade year after participating in an on-camera interview selection process. Adrian received an all-expense paid trip for him and a chaperone to New York City where he participated in the campaign photo shoot, explored Times Square, and enjoyed fabulous cuisine during his time in New York. Atlanta Public Schools Atlanta Virtual Academy has selected Blackboard Learn as its first district-wide learning management system after a nine-month evaluation of various platforms. Atlanta Virtual Academy will use Blackboard Learn to expand online classes offered to students and to align all class content with Common Core standards. The district determined that Blackboard Learn is the best option for expanding offerings for Atlanta Virtual Academy students. The Virtual Academy currently provides online classes to students in math, science, language arts, social studies, and physical education. Students from high schools throughout the district can earn credit online by taking classes through the Virtual Academy in addition to their regular schedule. Days before educators from across the country come to Atlanta for the National Education Association's Representative Assembly, a few hundred of them will arrive early to help refurbish Thomasville Heights Elementary. On Saturday, June 29th, the 17th annual NEA Outreach to Teach will be held at Thomasville Heights Elementary. Each year, Outreach to Teach selects a public school to receive a free makeover in the host city for the NEA's annual meeting. Expect to see more than 400 educators volunteer for this ambitious project to help spruce up Thomasville Heights Elementary from the inside to the outside. Recently, over 100 junior reserve officers training Corps cadets from 10 APS schools participated in the 2013 Junior ROTC Cadet Leadership Challenge held near Columbus, Georgia at the Fort Benning Army Base. This summer opportunity allows cadets the chance to test their limits of their endurance, stamina, leadership capabilities during a six-day camp adventure. Watch the students participate in Visitor's Day and complete tasks such as zip lining, rappelling, and much more. Go to at ease. At ease means your hands should be down here, right? So when he say company, you're supposed to go what? Up. To parade rest. All right, let's try it again. Now you take us out smooth, snap. Are you dedicated? Dedicated, dedicated, you're right, dedicated. You check us out, you, you check us out smooth, snap. It's day one of JCLC the JRTC Cadet Leadership Challenge here in Fort Benning, Georgia. 250 cadets, many of which are from Atlanta Public Schools, have gathered for this week's activities. From their arrival at 9 a.m., cadets work together in concert and in uniform. The message is repeated throughout the day's activities. Jackson High student Jalandria Williams elaborates on the rigors of the experience. Yeah, it's hard work, and I understand that right now we have to be determined and have a lot of motivation within ourselves, and we have to push ourselves even when we get tired. Now, the next thing is 
Our towel goes at the foot of the bed. It should be a towel and the washcloth on top. Despite the fact that cadets are housed in college dormitories, there still exists a code of organization and order. I met two APS students from Carver and North Atlanta, respectively, uh, who gave me a quick tour room. of their living arrangements. We have our shoes right there at the bottom. Yeah. Of our towels. North um, Atlanta um, cadet uh, Esther Kevacher shared uh, her enjoyment uh, of JROTC right and here. its programs. I think that it helps when you go back to school because that way you show more leadership towards your um, platoon or to other students that aren't so, um, you know, open about being in ROTC because they're scared of, you know, whatever they're going to do to you. But it's really fun. Um, I actually wanted to come back again this year. Well, that concludes day one of JCLC, which goes on rain or shine. This is Scott King reporting from Fort Benning, Georgia, June 17, 2013, for APS 22 News. Atlanta Public Schools will host one centralized school enrollment and registration for the upcoming school year at the Capitol View Building, located at 1442 Metropolitan Parkway, Southwest Atlanta, Georgia 30310. Registration for the 2013-14 school year will be open on July 8th through July 12th from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. The registration hours will be extended on July 8th and 10th from 3 to 6 p.m. Year-round students will need to register from July 8th through July 11th. Students who completed re-registration for the 2013-14 school year during the spring semester do not need to re-register. APS has already begun determining student transportation needs for the 2013-14 school year, and transportation officials need your help to ensure that students are transported safely and on time. Parents, please register your children for school by July 12th so that APS can assign them bus stops by the first day of school, August 7th. APS will not assign bus stops to any student who has not registered for school by July 12th. Please be advised that students registered after the July 12th registration deadline will have to use the closest assigned bus stop until bus routes are updated on August 23rd. Starting July 30th, anyone can view bus routes at their designated school or by visiting the APS website. Once the school year begins, APS will not change any bus routes until August 23rd, after which time routes will be updated every week. Remember, in order to receive a bus stop assignment by the first day of school, students must register for school by July 12, 2013. For additional transportation changes, please visit www.AtlantaPublicSchools.us slash transportation2013. Mark your calendar. For the first time, APS will host district-wide open houses for all elementary, middle, and high schools on Monday, August 5th, 2013. Times are as follows. High school, 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. Middle school, 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. And elementary school, 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. Justin Kuki is a rising sophomore at Grady High School who was recently selected to participate in the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration's Oceans for Life program. He is one out of 15 students from the United States to participate in this prestigious program, which is an educational marine science field study program that enhances cultural understanding among high school students through ocean science. Justin is an honor student who pursues his conservation interests through the school's Earth Club and spends his free time volunteering at the Atlanta Zoo. The Atlanta Public Schools Transportation Department is highlighted in the 2013 Conference Georgia School Bus Magazine, which is the official publication of the Georgia Association for Pupil Transportation. The article is titled, Public Service, the Mission for Atlanta Public Schools Director of Transportation. In the article, John Lyles, the Director of Transportation, outlines his goal of providing safe and efficient transportation and addresses the new bell schedule for the next school year. He also states that public service has always been a major focus of his life and how he enjoys communicating with students. The magazine is available online by visiting the link below. Thank you for tuning in. Tune in every week for important information about your school district. I'm Julius Huck from the Office of Communications. At APS, we are renewing our commitment to you.